Hey there gang, you're Guitar Sage. Today we are going to learn a little Kings of Leon. We're going to learn you somebody. I've got my chart here on my screen, but honestly, uh, this song is pretty, it's fairly repetitive for being as cool as it is. It's the same chord progression just throughout the entire song. And, um, and then we'll talk about the bits and pieces. So for those of you that know these basic open chords and know basic strumming and that sort of thing, you can learn this song pretty quickly. For those of you that need a little bit more help, stick around and I'll explain it all in detail and you'll be learning this, you'll know this song in about 11 minutes here, okay? So here we go. Again, I'm, I've, I've got the chart here up on my screen and um, it's gonna go something like this. I don't, I don't totally know the lyrics to this, so I've got the basic idea. If you want a lyrics lesson, check out my video on the lyrics to this song. Just joking. There's not a video lesson to lyrics. It's a guitar lesson. So here we go. Um, it's going to go something like this. the basic idea there. I played through that chord progression twice, um, but honestly, uh, there's an intro. There, there is a, okay, I'm looking at my chart here, there's an intro, two verses, a chorus, a third verse, a second chorus, the bridge changes, and we'll talk about that in a minute, and then the end, which is uh, basically like an outro, it's the same thing again with a slight little variation at the end. Okay, so let's talk about the chords that are involved in this song, and we'll talk about the strumming, and then we'll talk about the bridge, um, and a couple other things. Okay, so here we go. Um, the chords used in this song are a C, A minor, and an F. Okay, that's for the bulk of the song. Now there is the bridge that plays a D, and for all you bar chord fans out there, an F sharp minor. Okay, so I'll show you how to play that. Don't fret. All right, don't fret about that one. I'll, I'll show you how to do that one. Okay. Um, okay, so here are the chords. It's going to go. Uh, oh, and, and, and let me stop here too. For those of you that don't have the ebook already, go to yourguitarsage.com. Get this ebook, especially if you're looking at a lot of these, a lot of my videos, because it's going to help you so much. You know, I tell you, I can tell you so much in the videos, but um, you know, having the chart right in front of you there, where you can read it and, and understand it, and you know, visually see what's going on, um, as opposed to me just telling you, makes a world of difference. So if you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com, get that ebook. Um, also, you know, give you privy to these uh, handwritten charts that I do teach you how to read charts for studio and, and all sorts of stuff. It's a real education, so check that out. Uh, without further ado, here we go. Um, okay, so, we got a C for a measure. We have a C with an E in the bass for a measure, so basically just lift your thumb up. Right now, on this C chord, I'm muting this low E. So when I hit all the strings, I'm only hit here in five through one. Now for the second chord, the C slash E, 
It means it's a C chord with an E in the bass. So you lift your thumb up so that E will sing out and you have. So again. And the next two chords are F. Um, a couple different ways you can play an F, of course. Some people play it like this. Those three notes. Remember, if, you start, if you're doing partial chords like this, you need to mute all the other notes. You can't just go smacking all the strings. You've got to mute, whether that's using your thumb or using other parts of your left or right hand. Can't, you know, the note's not in the chord, you can't play it and expect it to sound good. It's going to sound like who. Okay, so here's an F. Here's an F. So I'm barring these two on the bottom. Oops. Um, there's the bar chord F, which for most guitar players, at least in the beginning, uh, that's kind of what separates those that are just kind of noodling at the guitar and those that are kind of ready to take the next chapter. That's your first real chapter is moving up to an F chord because um, that allows you to play all sorts of bar chords up the neck. Um, but it's a little bit difficult to play. Hopefully you know it. If you don't, um, keep up with it and um, and don't be discouraged. It was difficult for everybody. It was difficult for Hendrix when he started playing. Um, okay, so, and I love Hendrix, so please don't write anything. I'm not insulting Hendrix. The guy was a good guitar player, needless to say. Okay, so anyhow, I digress. Here's an F major or an F. It's a bar chord. I don't like playing that version. I like playing this version. If you've watched my other videos, you know that this is the one that I usually grab. I don't play this bass note. I, I bar down here. And I play that guy. I bring my thumb around and mute the sixth string, low E string. Um, if you want to find out how to play this chord, you grab a C chord, drop your pinky, I mean, drop your second finger one string and then put your pinky on the string that your second finger just left. So put it on the fourth string. Take your first finger and lay it down on that first string like that. Okay. So that's how I play my F and I bring my thumb around and beat that guy so I can go. Repeat that again. easy as that. And I know this chord is difficult, but keep, keep working at it. You'll get it. Okay. The second half of the verse goes A minor for a measure, C for a measure, and F for two measures again. And you repeat that twice. So the um, second part of the verse goes... Again, don't worry about the strumming right now. You can just as well be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just as easily. We'll talk about the rhythm again a little bit later on down the road here. Okay? So if you play that chord progression, C, C slash E, F for two measures, C, C, C slash E, F for two measures. A minor, C, F for two measures, A minor, C, F for two measures. That's your, that's like 95% of your song, or 90% of your song right there. That's the intro, well, I told you at the beginning of this video. Intro, two verses, chorus, verse, chorus, end. Okay, there is a bridge, let's talk about that. The bridge is, um, it's going to go D for two measures. This is the, that, that little fun tidbit there. So two measures of D, two measures of F sharp minor. This is E, F, F sharp, right? That little note right there. And then this is an F sharp minor chord. You're barring or putting as much pressure as you can on all six strings so that all six strings play, but then you take fingers three and four and put them right up here on strings 
5 and 4. And you get your F sharp minor. Okay, um, let's talk about the end real quick. We've got about, dad gone it, am I right here? Golly, we got 40 seconds. All right, the rhythm is going to go one, two, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And four. Or if you count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So really, if you emphasize one, four, and seven, but play all eight notes, you're going to be good. Guys, we're running out of time. I can't believe this took us 10 minutes, but, or 11 minutes, but it did. Check out yourguitarsage.com. Later.